up everybody, it's your boy Jay Scott and I'm back with another video. So let's get to it. Your boy Jay Skizzle with the messed up hair and no shave November look going rough caveman type thing going. Uh, these final paintings are crazy, man. But what's up, y'all? Uh, today should probably hopefully be my last surgery, which will be later on today. And hopefully after this, I will determine or they will determine when I can go home. Hopefully pretty soon. Also, I'll keep y'all updated on the Fox 26 News. It should be airing today around 9 p.m. I'm just waiting to hear back from the anchor again today. She's going to let me know for sure. So, y'all stay tuned for that. And I will get back to y'all later on. And we're going to get to it. It's Monday. <laughs> y'all be blessed. All right. Peace. I'm trying to see if I can fix my... It ain't working too much. At least it won't be all matted and everything, you know. Brush my hair a little bit. So I can use my hand. Still not working. Just need a haircut. Sorry, don't be rough until I get up out here. You know, it's part of the journey. So right now, I'm on what you call MPO. I don't really know what that stands for, but basically I can't eat or drink anything for the remainder of the day. I've been on MPO since about, since 12. It is now one, can you see that? Almost one fifteen. So I've been on MPO since 12. So no more liquids, foods, nothing. The last time I did this, they didn't come get me until about 11 o'clock at night. So that's 11 hours with no food or water to drink. Um, eventually they might put me on this right here, on this IV where it keeps me hydrated. But I'm not in pain right now, which is good. I'm not having no phantom pains right now. Hopefully they won't come. They might come just because I said I'm not having pains. But um, I want everybody to see every part of what I go through, you know? So even the part where I'm just chilling in the bed, relaxing, waiting on a day, waiting on rehab right now. Rehab probably be here like another 30 minutes or so. Um, it's just relaxed. It's cold outside, I know. The nurses keep telling me how cold it is outside. So I don't have a jacket. All I have on is, they call this my sundress, my gown. I don't know how y'all women wear sundresses, man. This crap here, this gown here is crazy. It keep falling off and everything. And air be coming between my legs and all that. <laughs> but um, I'm blessed to be here. So everything that I do from here on out is going to be to motivate, inspire, and all that good stuff. Hey, Peace out. <laughs> it's rehab time. Now it's time to get up out of here. With Miss Alex, I'm not going to put on a camera. Out of respect. Once I get in this wheelchair, I'll hold on for a second. Hello. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, okay, I'm editing her out. She's not gonna be in there. <laughs> I probably gotta stand up right now. Showing my balance and everything. Um, you want me to hop or you want me to? Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah, we can just do that a few times. Okay. Yeah. Try to make sure my stump don't go forward. <laughs> yeah. And I got a bad habit of my stump moving forward. Holding it up, yeah. Mm hmm So I'll be trying to do exercises and lift the head and make sure it doesn't go forward. Good. Yeah, do it a couple more times.
We gotta get that leg used to having all your weight on it. Mm -hmm. This is just half. All right, good. We can go for another spin around. Okay. Rolling out this thing. About to go see my homie Fabio. Fabio uh, is an amputee as well. Young cat, 19, man. Good dude. So we've been kind of, you know, linking up and talking with each other, motivating each other. So I'm going to holler him real quick. See him. Make sure he's doing good. Because he's been here for about a month and a half now. He got here a couple weeks before I got here. Hopefully he'll want to be on camera and tell this story too. But this is my journey for the day. my journey for the day. How y'all doing? Good, how are you? I'm great. That's when I'm going up. Yes. Going up. Almost got hit by the elevator. Hopefully, y'all didn't see that. Oh, that felt weird. I hate elevators, man. Excuse me, sir. Hey. Oh, this is a real journey, man. Can this work out my leg? Six feet. Yes, man. I was trying to see uh go to Fabio's room. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Six B eleven. Where is she How you doing? It's okay, I go to Fabio's room. That's fine. Fabio? Yeah, room 11. Yeah, room 11. Hey, how are you doing? I'm good. How you doing? Good, man. You got wheels. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm recording. I want to put you on camera if y'all don't want to. So. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm recording my journey. I mean, it's, it's on me, but I'm recording my journey. I'm trying to, you know, inspire and motivate. Yeah, and I just got to talk to Fabio. You know Fabio? Yeah, I met him already. Okay, I'm going in there. You going in there? Yeah. Okay. What's up, y'all? It's me again. Came to see my boy Fabio. How y'all doing? My boy Fabio right here, man. Like y'all, y'all say my spirits are high, man. His spirits are real high. He be zooming around here in the, in the wheelchair like he speed racer, man. <laughs> like he, yeah. he 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 motivated me for real, man. Cause you know he he was in a. We both lost our leg, but you know we're still here. Exactly. Uh, I'm, I'm sure we both uh, went close to death, but you know God gave us a second chance, so exactly. we're, we're here stronger. Exactly. We're here motivating us, ourselves and uh, hopefully uh, inspiring people. Once we get our prosthetic leg, I mean we're out of here. You know? Man, for sure, man. Like we, yeah. it's it's a grind. We we ain't holding, ain't nothing holding us back, man. Like you know, awesome God. God gave us a second chance. He gave us a purpose, you know. So we gotta, we gotta share this purpose with everyone else, so everyone else can be motivated to to do things. Just because you're going through something doesn't mean you can't achieve what you want to achieve, man. Like this guy right here has great spirits, man. He's always smiling, man, you know. I lost my leg, but hey, you know what? I'm happy. You know, I'm happy to be alive. I got this leg to walk on. Prosthetic leg will come around. Maybe in two months, I'll be. I'll be walking around in Christmas. Exactly. I'll be we, good to go. We the opposite. I lost my, I lost my right and I got my left. He got his right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, t tell them a little bit about what happened to you. So, um, I was I was actually going to, uh, like, you know, dropping off food for my girlfriend at the gym. Uh, after that, I pulled out on the street, a 45 miles per hour street, and uh, I saw this, this light, uh, this car stalled. Um, and I just decided to help out of nowhere, you know. 
I know I didn't think twice not to help him, I just like decided to help him. I told him to maneuver the steering wheel, put it on neutral, push it from the front, and um, I was pushing the car from the back 10 seconds later, so I, got, I, I get pinned down, uh, you know, in between two cars, a uh, car hit me from behind, going at speed at 55, I think, 50 miles, five or 50 miles per hour. Nice too. Um, you know, it's obvious I lost my, my left leg and I fractured pretty badly my right leg. Um, I, was, I was missing two chunks of, you know, uh, a muscle tissue and, and skin from, from the back of my leg and they had to put a, a, a titanium rod um, down my leg. So, you know, but I'm good now. I'm good now. It's been probably six weeks already. <sighs> six weeks, almost seven weeks. So um, it's a it's a really traumatic like experience. Uh, I did pass away in the ambulance, but they they brought me back to life with CPR, and I'm just so happy to be here alive again. Because thanks to God, you know, God exactly. gave me a, a second chance because I, I started like praying for God when I was with, you know looking outside in the little window of the ambulance mm. into the sky. <clears throat> Man, you know, God yeah. saves lives, man. Like he, he's real. Like we, we both probably wouldn't be here. He died in the ambulance, and I lost about ninety percent of my blood. We both overcame obstacles that you know, it's almost like miracles. So, with the grace of God and these great surgeons and nurses up here, man, we here. Oh yeah. Holding sure. strong. Yeah. Smiling. <laughs> he's still like a model. <laughs> he looks like some model, and I look like a uh, caveman right now. <laughs> So, uh, man, really good dude, man. I just wanted to kind of share his story with y'all, too, man, so y'all can get more motivation, man. It's not just me. It's not just because I was on a motorcycle. He was helping somebody and got into a situation. But despite that, man, we still we're we still, here. still here. We're yeah. still here. And he be moving, man. When I, <laughs> I wish I could show you. This boy be moving in his, in his wheelchair, man. It's oh, crazy. Man. This boy time, be moving, man. That time you saw me. For real, for real. <laughs> But I'm about to sign out, so I'll catch y'all later. Peace out. What happens to you is not always for you. What happens to you is not always for you. You don't know how God wants to use your pain. You don't know how God wants to use your struggle. You don't know what glory God will get out of your trials if you bear it with joy. There's an attendant kind of grace. There's a surprising grace that comes with life's disappointments. There are some things you can only see in darkness that you never could see in the light. There's a surprising grace that comes with hardship. There's a surprising kind of grace that comes with struggles. Because in them we find that God is a very present help in the time of trouble.